Hi guys, welcome to the channel and the new event is here which means we've got some amazing new event troops so I thought I'd put together an amazing attack strategy for you to try out. We'll check out some replays in just a moment. First of all, let's have a look at the army composition. So, six Azure Dragons, 12 Balloons, and two Baby Dragons. Spells are going to be an Earthquake, six Lightning, two Rage, two Freeze, and a Poison Spell to sprinkle on top, and a couple of Yetis inside the Battle Blimp. Here are our equipment. Normal default equipment, apart from the Grand Warden with the Healing Tome. And of course... We're going to be trying out the new frozen arrow for the queen because it's lots of fun. And I would say, guys, try to unlock that frozen arrow with your rewards if you can. So here we go. On to our first replay. And guys, quick disclaimer. This was filmed in the developer build against a maxed out Town Hall 16 base. So how are we going to do? First of all, we're going to use an earthquake spell and lightning spells to take out high value targets in that compartment on the right hand side there. It's gone. Then, a beautiful spam attack. Normally with air attacks, I like using the king and queen on one side of the base to funnel. And on this base, because the air sweepers are pointing down, we're going to go straight for the town hall with the Grand Warden on air mode. And those are your dragons. They're really good. They do loads of damage through different buildings. They've got loads of health points as well. So guys, yeah, we're going straight for the town hall and I'm going to use the Grand Warden ability in just a moment to protect them. We've got the Battle Drill on the left-hand side helping out. There we go. Grand Warden ability used with the Healing Tone. Protect those dragons. And are they good? Are they powerful? Yes, they are. Are they super powerful? Are they too, you know, like the last set of event troops were super, super powerful, some of them. Are these the same sort of level? I don't think so. I do think they're very easy to use. Very powerful, though. But yeah, maybe not as powerful as what we've seen from the event troops, which I think is good. Some of them were just too powerful, guys. But these, you need a little bit of skill to use them. You need to think about the battle and get them to go inside the base. They're a bit like Super Dragons and Electro Dragons in a way. They're better if you get them to go inside the base. So you do need to do a bit of funneling. Like I said, King and Queen on one side, maybe Baby Dragon on the other. Siege Machine that you use is up to you on this base. I try something a bit different, the Battle Drill. I very rarely use the Battle Drill, but... Because the air sweepers are pointing down, I thought, well, we've got to go after the town hall anyway. But if you can get away with sending in your battle blimp to take out the town hall with the main army, I'd normally do that. So there's our first replay. Another friendly challenge now against a nasty base. So again, we're going to start the attack using the earthquake spell and six lightnings to take out high value targets. Remember, one earthquake and six lightnings will take out every defense apart from the eagle artillery and max level ricochet cannon. So now... We're looking at the base. Which way are the air sweepers pointed? Okay, Baby Dragon on the left. That's a part of a funnel. King's there. He says hi. And the Queen as well. And then we're going to spam the rest of our troops on the right-hand side. Now, the important thing here is to make sure the dragons go into the base. So we need to do a little bit of funneling on the right there. And the Baby Dragon is helping out. But there is a Tesla there. And that's all it can take sometimes. One Tesla appearing to ruin your funnel. But we're okay. Okay, Grand Warden ability used. We're delivering the Battle Blimp to the Town Hall. Then I'll use a Rage spell on the Town Hall to make sure we take it out. Watch out for Clan Castle troops, of course. Use a free spell on Air Sweepers or anything like that. But yeah, normally a Rage spell. And I've got two Yetis, a few Sneaky Goblins and a Wall Breaker inside the Battle Blimp. So we're doing okay here. We've used the King ability to try and keep those dragons inside the base. And at this point I'm thinking... We don't have many troops left. Well, we've got a few. We've got those dragons in the center. And they are pretty powerful, guys. And like I said, they can do damage through buildings. So we're going to freeze the enemy queen. Hopefully, she's gone. Those are your dragons. Just, yeah, that was amazing. And guys, if you're new to this channel, what I try and do is find easy-to-use spam attacks for the casual player. So I will be bringing out some more attack strategies using the event troops and route riders and things like that. I would say the frozen arrow here, guys, don't worry if you haven't got it. You're not going to have max level 27 like I've got in the developer build, are you? Straight away. So yeah, guys, it's not make or break for the strategy. I just wanted to show you how good it can be. Is it as powerful as a giant gauntlet? I don't think so. I think it's really nice. I think it's a very good ability to have, especially if you like doing queen walks and things like that because of course it slows down defenses up to 75 percent at max level so i hope you enjoyed the video today remember on this channel we've got something called a creator code that's where you can help support your favorite content creator in game by using their code before making any purchase our code is code moose any support would be amazing and you do need to renew it once a week have a lovely time guys and i'll see you later